Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Imagine this. One random Tuesday, humanity just freezes. Every person on Earth, mid-step, mid-bite, mid-argument. Time keeps ticking, but people don't. Cities stay full of silent statues in jeans and business suits. A billion half-finished selfies hover on locked phones. Nature doesn't care. Within weeks, pets and livestock wander free. Within months, vines crawl up skyscrapers. By the first year, wolves are back in Times Square. Hippos own suburban swimming pools, and oak trees punch holes through abandoned cars. Nuclear plants shut down, satellites fall, neon billboards fade. Humanity's empire becomes scaffolding for the wild. Fast forward 500 years. Concrete crumbles. Entire cities drown under swamps, deserts, or forests. The air is cleaner than it's been since the Ice Age. Whales sing without sonar interference, elephants reclaim highways, and the earth quietly breathes again. Humans? Still frozen. Then, exactly 1,000 years later, everyone wakes up. You blink, stretch, and realize your neighborhood is now a rainforest. Your house? Collapsed into moss. Your bank account? Gone. Your government? Long forgotten. There's no Wi-Fi, no electricity, no delivery apps. Just you, barefoot in a world that feels more alien than Mars. The shock is brutal. Billionaires are as broke as baristas. Celebrities don't matter. Politicians don't matter. The only things that matter are fire, food, water, and community. You and the people around you have to learn survival from scratch. Hunting, farming, building. Some groups adapt and form tribes. Others cling to old habits, fighting over scraps of plastic and rusted metal. The craziest part? You aren't humanity's rulers anymore. Animals evolved in your absence. Megaherds roam free. Birds, fish, insects dominate ecosystems untouched by humans for centuries. You're no longer at the top of the food chain. You're just another species scrambling to survive. The real what if isn't about whether humanity could rebuild. It's whether humanity deserves to. After 1,000 years of silence, Earth showed it didn't need us. The question is, do we still need Earth the same way we once did?